no. One. I found it. I found it. Um. If I sound weird, I fix. <coughs> As you can tell from that. But yeah, this is my new channel. No subscribe. There's something I like. So, I'm gonna be reacting. This is my first video on YouTube. Let me explain good video. Because I wanted to know what this is. Am I dating someone? The answer is. From what I've seen, absolutely not from what I see. We'll be reacting to this one in backyard. But anyways, three, uh, one. Ah, ads. There you go. Ads are thing, and I don't like that. I only like the ads that I like watching. <coughs> Probably good. Fun. So, I mean, I don't know. And then we'll end it off with action then. Explainers and entertainers, my little oodle allies, Rebecca Parham here. I'm in a bit of a time crunch before VidCon, so I put out a post on Twitter and the YouTube community tab asking you for your questions. You're a smart bunch, I had every faith in you, and you rose to the occasion. So let's not dilly-dally. Questions ahoy! Are you in a relationship, and if so, would you put him or her in a video? Well, at the time of this recording, I am not in a relationship. Okay. But if I did start dating someone, I think I would probably keep it secret until he and I both agreed we could handle going public. Relationships are hard work even without two million people following you. Which Disney princess are you? Gotta say, the Disney princess that I relate the most to is Tiana. A southern girl with big dreams of owning her own business and charting her own course. She lost her father before those dreams were realized. She's a workaholic. She can't dance. She likes jazz. And like her, when I do eventually find my Prince Charming, I'm sure it will come at the most inconvenient of times. Favorite animated movie? I classify favorite movie as a movie that you're down to watch anytime, you know? So I think... Oh. Thank you for turning Wreck-It Ralph into a donkey. Thank you. Um. Uh. <coughs> um. No, it made sense. Obviously, I know. Um. So. Yeah, why not? Oh yeah, she posted a new video. <coughs> so I think that <laughs> um number one um ah uh, I don't know. I, I just pause so I don't get coffee strike. I think that honor goes to Wreck It Ralph at the moment. And yes, I. You <coughs> saw the sequel. It could have been better, but bad sequels and remakes never inhibit you from enjoying the originals. Which Harry Potter house are you? Ravenclaw. Favorite non animated film? Jurassic Park. Favorite dinosaur? It's a tie between T Rex and Triceratops. What theater role would you love to have but never will? Never will. Jeez, I hope that's not true. But I've always wanted to be in the show Into the Woods as either the baker's wife or the witch. Don't watch the Disney version. Go find the original 1987 recording. It is way better and uh you'll get the... Number one, I thought the other Number two, thank you for the playing dragon. The full unedited story. But there are a few roles I wish I could play, but I can't for obvious reasons. Like, I've always wanted to be the Phantom in Phantom of the Opera, the plant Audrey 2 in Little Shop of Horrors, commonly played by a very deep voiced man, and Max Bialystok in The Producers. Oh, and I also wish I could play Nala in The Lion King, but I think that's just because I really want to sing Shadowland. If YouTube dies, what is your plan B? A lot of you wanted to hear this one, and I think the answer is pretty simple. 
I'd run away to the forest and become the witch of the woods, just like I always dreamed. No, I would go out and I would get a studio job in the animation industry. If you don't remember, that was the original plan. That was the path that I was set up for in school. Nearly everyone in my class got studio jobs. I was the weird one who went to YouTube. And I have kept in touch with a handful of my friends from the major studios. Every time I ask them if I even stand the slightest chance of getting hired, they say, Pfft. Duh, Becca, of course you do. So I guess I have an alright backup plan. Whose YouTube videos do you watch the most? I always try to keep up with my animation friends' videos, but we all upload mm -hmm. so infrequently that I can't really pick any of them for this question. Now that I've dodged that bullet, I've noticed that on days when I've been so busy and exhausted and I only have enough time or energy to watch there. <laughs> one person's video at the end of the day, I always find myself picking the Game Grumps. Aaron and Danny never fail to make me laugh or smile, so at the moment, that honor- That didn't make me laugh. <laughs> honor goes to them. What's your favorite anime? There will always be a special place in my heart for Oron High School Host Club. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay, I've only watched- Oh my god, I have slim in my throat. I've only watched Naruto. I've watched like the first few seasons in that Some club. Favorite Marvel character? Captain America. Oh. How did you get to where you are now? Oh. I walked. How do you stay motivated when feeling burnt out? Well, I would say deal with the burnout first. Some TLC is usually really good for oh. that. Take a long hot shower or a bubble bath and get yourself feeling clean. Clean up your living or workspace so your surroundings feel less chaotic. Catch up on sleep, exercise, treat yourself to one meal that you really want. Knock some easy things off your to-do list so you feel more accomplished. Do um. something recreational you really want to do. Like for me, it's drawing mindless macabre art. And for the love of God, get- What is macabre? Is that what it is? Because if it is, thank dear lord, no. Get off social media. Nothing will make you feel more exhausted and burnt out than the emotional whiplash of going through a Twitter or Facebook feed. Um, what did okay. you think of London? Followed up by, why didn't you do a VidCon recap of London? Okay, so for those unaware, I was a featured creator at VidCon London back in February of this year. I absolutely love your Twitter or Facebook feed. What did you think of London? Followed up by, why didn't you do a VidCon <coughs> of London? Okay, so for those unaware, I was a featured creator at VidCon London back in February. Is that right? No. Jaden Animation's there! <laughs> I think that's her. ...of this year. Is that season five? Um, um. Who has a picture? Is that Eight Bit Ryan? Yeah, I absolutely oh. loved London, by the way, and I really, really want to go back. The is that in London? Because if it is, I want to go see that. The city is so full of history. I got to have a real English tea. <coughs> I went out sightseeing with James and Adam. I hung out with Tom. James and Adam, yeah. James, James. James, should we react to James that Tomska and his friends, James and I visited Simon's Cat, and VidCon London was so much fun. I did ask you guys in a poll if you wanted to see a London recap, and while technically most of you said yes, I didn't feel comfortable working on a video for one to two months to lose almost half my viewership on it. Uh, I'd rather spend that time working on a video that everyone could enjoy. Backyard stories? Is that what this I hope that's all okay. Do you only wear dresses Pfft, no sometimes i wear skirts crunchy or creamy peanut butter creamy will there be more guest voices in your yeah i i just went for a soft cookie and i've never tried pineapple on pizza but i like pineapple i like pizza combined notes i probably would like it. videos <laughs> no way i've never reacted to them but i will soon probably mm. No, no way. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> no, no, no. Like, seriously, no. You know, that's a really good question. Let me think about it for a minute. No. Illy says, what's something you want to do on your channel but haven't for any reason? I would love to do my own original song and a music video to accompany it. I have covered a song on my channel before, but I really want a piece of music that is uniquely mine. Problem is, I have no brain for writing music. I can't play any instruments. I'm really bad at music theory. I can only sing. So I would either need to pay a musician to help me or collaborate with a musical YouTuber. But up until now, the biggest problem has been time. Doing a special project like an original song would take more time than I could afford. Though, now, as I get more help on my 
musician to help me or collaborate with a musical YouTuber. But up until now, the biggest problem has been time. Doing a special project like- Yeah. Yeah. Is that okay? Is that okay? Is that okay to sell that for that much? Is that okay to sell that for thousands? Like an original song would take more time than I could afford. Though, yeah. now as I get more help on my videos, maybe that will change in the near future. Megan? Uh, who's Megan? <coughs> <coughs> Here's hoping. Dogs or cats? I like kitties, but I'm definitely allergic to them. I'm gonna have to go with the doggos on this one. Ah, uh, dang. My friend Paul's actually allergic to cats. We had a field trip day to, um, to, uh, commute to the zoo. What was it called? Uh, desert Zoo or something? Desert Zoo, I think. Different something to do. Yeah, and there was a fan cat there, and he had the and the other and he freaked out. He was allergic to cats. It was um, it, it was, there's like a barrier. Basically, you know, like those fences with like little tiny holes in them. Yeah, it's gonna go through there. And fall, so. But anyway, um. I like cats. I'm more of a cat person than a dog person, obviously. Show us your dogs! Well, I mean, that's not really a question, but okay! Here's a Noah, and a Charlie, and a Mabel. I did have a sweet old Labrador named Ace, but he passed away recently. Oh no! I miss you, buddy. Who is your favorite animator in general, not specifically on YouTube? Glenn Keane. Easily. He animated Ariel, Professor Radigan, The Beast, Tarzan, Long John Silver, so many others. He gets me so excited to work on my own stuff, and I really hope I will eventually get to meet him. One day, Senpai will notice me. Who do you main in- Oh my god. In Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Pikachu. What's your favorite Pokemon? <laughs> Butterfree. What Kanto starter Pokemon? Of course, that makes sense because- First ever video. Pokemon did you pick when you played Pokemon Red and Blue? Squirtle. Seriously though, Squirtle will forever be my favorite starter ever. I mean, have you seen the screenshot from the anime of the guy letting his Squirtle play on his phone? Yeah! Uh, yeah, I don't know if we can react to backyard. That's so cute! Have you had any- But we will react to- Sure. More ghosts come and follow you since that last video. Ah, yes, I have another maybe ghost story. Lights! It happened a couple months ago in my office. I was working late and was the only person in the building. I had my Cintiq screen at an angle and was leaning over to look at my second monitor. When I turned back to my Cintiq, I saw this black mass over the top of it move down towards the floor and I could hear a soft rustling sound. I thought a bag or something had fallen off my desk and I stood up to check what fell. But there was nothing. And I was spooked for the rest of the night. Favorite musical? Ugh, why must you ask? Ghost Town. Okay, so it's the coincidence that my TV at night randomly turns on. There's a black thing that falls when it, at her job. And, Bill, and my friend in, uh, Taylor Billy slash Dylan. Taylor Billy. Uh, what, and what's the coincidence that his computer just randomly turns on in this one night hit there? You ask me this. Favorite Disney character. Ah, why must you ask me this? All right, all right, real answers for both of these. I can't honestly nail it down to just one on either, so you're getting a list. Musicals, Into the Woods, Sweeney Todd, The Lion King, Les Mis, Little Shop of Horrors, <coughs> The Pirates of Penzance, Phantom of the Opera, Cats, oh The Producers, oh my God. and... Oh oh. Alright, Wicked. Only because I relate to Elphaba an unhealthy amount. For Disney characters, which I am counting Disney TV, Dipper Pines, Grunkle Stan, Mulan, Lilo, Stitch, Alice, Wreck-It Ralph, Tiana, Ray the Firefly, Goofy, Joy, Captain Amelia, and Rabbit. Ever been to or thought about traveling to Australia? Funny you should ask that, I'm actually going to VidCon Australia with James as his plus one. VidCon said that they may give me something to do while I'm there, but we'll see what happens. Either way, I can't wait to see my Aussie explainers. Who is your favorite character from Night in the Woods? B. 
B is my girl. Waffles or pancakes? Waffles. What's your favorite candy bar? Reese's, don't at me. Did you have a crush on someone in high school? Hoo boy, I had a lot of crushes. But the big one was a guy in my theater club. And it just happened to be the guy who would have played my love interest if Medusa had casted me as Dottie and Noises Off. So yeah, missed out on that classic high school comedy scenario. Thanks again, Medusa. Can this be the last question? No. All right. You're lucky I'm so nice. I think that just about wraps everything up, explainers. I feel closer to you already. So close that you can just smell the deodorant brands. Also, one more thing, there's a new vintage logo t-shirt in the shop right now. It's cool, it's very grunge, it's very stylish. So if you want it, there's a link to it in the description below. All right, guys, see you at VidCon or for... All right. Hey, yeah, we can't. Ah, 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 ah. One moment. Minute. Let's react to our first ever video. Hi, Barbie. Hi. Obviously, it's a button. Thank you. I'm gonna be the Pokemon Master! You! Battle! But I didn't even look at we you. We fight now! No, fine, whatever. Go right on. Right on. I choose you! Be free! <laughs> oh, Beefly, I knew you could do it! Now come on, pretty little- Thing is freezing, kind of intense. Oh my- Lady, we're blowing the- <coughs> You got mouth now? Excuse me, what? Water the spa! <laughs> oh, this thing is now a robot. Free. <laughs> this thing is so many things. <laughs> Butterfly, it's a Pokemon, it's a robot, it's a god. You just got your butt kicked by a butterfly. Hey guys, it's Rebecca. Oh, well, well, last one for today. It's obviously going to be crazy wrong. Um. um Okay. Ah. Ah. Lemon number. So everyone has that one particularly hilarious wrong number story, and it's usually in the form of a text um, message. Apparently, some people I consider have. it a good idea to text embarrassing information to a new number they just got from someone. I mean, <coughs> wouldn't want to confirm you're actually talking to your friend Shannon when in fact you're telling a complete stranger all about your hemorrhoid problems. But my hilarious wrong number story came from a full-blown conversation with someone on the other line who was... irrational, to say the very best of it. One evening, I was lying on my bed, probably drawing, when I got a phone call from a number I didn't recognize. It was my area code, so I figured, eh, why not, this might be someone I know. I answered and said, hello? 
A younger sounding woman answered back. Hello, who is this? Uh, Rebecca? So, do you know my husband, Chris Miller? I didn't recognize the name of the guy, so I said, I'm sorry, who? Oh, you know full well who! A rude lady. What? My husband has been texting and calling this number for oh. months. I checked his phone. I want to know who you are and why you've been talking to my husband. Ah, here we go. Found the root of the problem. And I said what every single one of us says in this circumstance. I'm sorry, you have the wrong number. Oh no, I do not have the wrong number. I'm not buying that. You're going to tell me right now who you are and how you know my husband. I guess any other normal person would have hung up on her, but I'm not normal. If anything, I was curious to see where this conversation was going to go. Ma'am, I don't know anyone by your husband's name. You clearly have the wrong number. You're just saying that because you don't want to admit you're seeing my husband. Um, trust me. He isn't. Trust me, honey. I don't see any men, period. Let alone someone else's husband. I don't believe you. You don't, huh? No. Could tell I'm a floozy over the phone, could you? Yes. <laughs> I'm hanging up now. No, you're not. Maybe you should check the number you dialed again. It could be an honest mistake, you know. The only one who needs to be honest is you. Hello? Still here. Make this easy and just tell me how long you've been his mistress. My, how things wow. have escalated between me Ow. and my husband. Wow. Chris, you said his name was? You know exactly what his name is. You've been hooking up with him. Oh, I see. Who did you say you were again? Velma Dinkley. <laughs> You can just go. Listen, this has been cute and everything, but honest to God, you have the wrong number. I don't know your husband. I've never called him before. I'm trying to politely tell you that you've made a mistake. A very common one, in fact. Happens to the best of us. So why don't you hang up, check the number, and... The only number I need to check is how many times I'm gonna kick your... Don't wait. How many times I'm gonna kick your... Block. Good luck, Chris. You're screwed no matter what you say. Oh. Um. Alright, well. Um. Yeah, it's my first video on this brand new channel. <coughs> uh, oh, 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 oh. Probably gonna do like one more uh, reaction video on my normal channel. And, um, after that. See you guys next time, and, uh, well, bye. Bye. Uh, and also, leave a like and subscribe, and, uh, or else Brock O'Brien will, um, feed you vegetables for the rest of your life. And he's also gonna turn your house into bed. And he's gonna kidnap you and put him in, you in his closet and stuff an apple into your mouth. So he doesn't have to hear you scream. Bye guys.